Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode, Case 17. It all comes to a head. Let's a laugh, Chapter 3, and I actually forgot what is happening. <laughs> yes, yes. Katria, there's something else coming from all directions. Parisians, alright, they are raiding the wedding venue. They flooded the wedding venue and they're shouting about Samisa's says murder. Why in the world would they gather at my wedding venue? We gotta go take care of this. Come on, Katarina. Well, let's see what's this about. Simon Lou was trying to bring the world together, and somebody destroyed him. We demand justice for the CEO of Lover. Everyone calm down, please. Lieutenant Katrina here and I are working to find the person who murdered Monsieur Malou. But we need you to clear out of here and not cause a panic. This place happens to be part of the crime scene. Oh, we're sorry. Please continue. Everyone, let's let the police do their work. Well, finally, somebody here to listen to us. Well, clearly they don't yet know that Sami was the one who created the fake video of the president. Well, nobody knows, only we know. If they had known, that would have been a very different interaction. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta work fast to wrap up this case, and then all the and then all the information can come to light. Ugh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. While we are here, let's take another look around for clues. That's right. Clearly, Kira had been there since we found his phone. Just in case. <laughs> All right, I remember finding the drone, so I'm not surprised to see her. Katrina, this briefcase looks like it contains something important. Let's get it unlocked and see what's inside. And what are these broken pieces? Looks like some kind of drone. Let's reassemble it. What is all over this handkerchief? I hope this is a clue and not something one of those Parisians dropped. We'll have to clean it up to find out. Alright. Okay, let's unlock the briefcase first. Hexagon. Le hexagon. <laughs> Monsieur Malou, listen to reason, and it's full of cash. Whoa, Katria, there's a ton of money in this briefcase, and there's a note saying, Monsieur Malou, listen to reason. So someone was offering Savi a lot of money to convince him to do something, but who? You're right, the passcode to open the briefcase was Le Hexagon. Ah, French politicians often refer to France as the Hexagon, because the country is shaped like the Hexagon. Huh, I never thought about that. Which means this briefcase and the money inside is from the president. Could he have tried to fix his little deepfake problem by circumventing the law? Let's go have a word with Monsieur le President about this. Well, I guess he was desperate. Okay, let's collect this, whatever that is, from the handkerchief. For Sammy's tears. Oh. Katrina, there's a message on this handkerchief. It says, for Sammy's tears. There's a clear ill will in this message. Hopefully the stuff you collected all the stuff on a hanky will tell us who's this. Let's check it out under the microscope. Yes, let's do this. Alright. Oh, 
alive. Let's restore the drone now. Mm, too bad I don't have a drone. It would be cool to have it and film the whole village over it. My dad's his friend did it just a week ago and it was a good footage. I think somebody would pay very well for somebody to record something from the drone. Just saying. Our hunch was right, Katrina. This is a drone. I'm pretty sure these are not legal to fly just anywhere in the city. So why would it be here in the Champ de Mars? Let's send it to the chief and see what he can find out about it. Okay. Eighteen hours. Okay, now the copper bits. Let's examine them before talking to the president. Wait, those look like look like it come from from a donut. And we know one person who ate the donut in this case. It's Eleonora, right? Yes, I was right, donut. Because here, the statue collection on that scornful hanky is rainbow sprinkles, like from a donut. You're right, we spoke to Eleonora, she was eating a rainbow sprinkled donut. So the hanky is hers. Let's go ask Eleonora about her beef with the victim. Yeah, you are growing very, very suspicious, and you were so, so friendly during the whole season, and now we see your true colors. Okay, let's go to Monsieur the President. Monsieur the President, were you attempting to bribe Sammy Malou with all this money? Oh look, I realized that in light of Monsieur Malou's conduct, this looks like a deal being made in the black. But the fact of the matter is that Monsieur Malou would fight the charges in court while continuing to release defamatory material against me. So you're telling us that you, the president, don't trust the legal system to do its job? I do, but if I can save the state from pointless spending by taking care of the problem myself, I will do so. Then is it possible you decide to cut off Samus's head to save yourself from more pointless spending too? Lieutenant Katria, that is not the way that the Republic deals with its transgressors. I'm a trained swordsman, and I believe in the historic cause of my predecessors. But my preferred method for hashing out differences is calm, reasoned discussion over apostasy. If you're lying about this with you, the president, the state spending will be for your murder trial. Oof, what's well, that going to be him? Alright, let's go to Eleonora. What's this with the handkerchief about? Eleonora, can you explain why this handkerchief was for the tears of our latest murder victim? It was ridiculous, Sammy. He thought he was so clever, so powerful. Sammy took a hefty investment from my dad to launch the Lover app. But after he realized my dad was the leader of the pigeons and rats, Sammy wanted to break all ties with him. I'm sure Lover had more than enough money to pay back the amount of the investment. Of course, but that's not the point. In the sportsmanship classes I took as a little girl, we we'll learned that when you are entangled with an opponent, you never turn away. You stare dead in their eyes until they are the first to move. I use a selfish stick to practice my intimidating glare. I have a reputation to uphold. No one cuts ties with the Macaron family. Oof. Sounds like the apple doesn't fall far from a tree. Not even by dying. We're watching you, Eleonora. Yeah, and we're not drawing this side thing you do to intimidate somebody else. Whose drone is this? Katarina, I must say I'm pretty disheartened by this clue. Oh, is it not linked to the murder? No, it's definitely linked, but a little too closely for comfort. This drone was outfitted with a projector lamp on it, and when I lit it up, it projected a message Sammy Malou must pay. What? So the drone could have been made by the killer? 
I sure hope not, because it was obviously constructed using pieces to recycle from proficient police squad surveillance equipment. Our very own Emil made this drone. Oh, Emil, we have to interrogate him about this right, right away. Yeah, what's this about? You're growing very, very suspicious. Here I am, Katarina, in interrogation room. Do your worst. Emil, you only get the worst if you murdered Sami Malu. So, did you? No, of course not. I never murdered anyone. But you know I was angry. Between his addictive app and the deep fake video of the president, that man was a menace to technology. Emil, I'm sorry to say that this latest clue Katria found doesn't help the case for your innocence. You, wanna, you know what else won't help? I'm a perfect batch for everything you've discovered about the killer so far. What do you mean? I couldn't help it. I hacked into the case file because I had to know what the chances were that you'd think I'm the killer. I've taken sports machine classes, but only because I'm a sci-fi geek. I'm French, so of course I drink pasty, and I design my own high-tech selfie sticks. As far as the case file is concerned, I'm the killer, but I swear I didn't kill Sami. You've gotta believe me. Oof, Jesus, Emil. Katria, the plot tickets in our search for the person who chopped off the head of lover CEO Sami Malou. I gotta say, I'm still baffled by Emil's breakdown during his interrogation. I can't help thinking that his weakness under pressure proves that if he was Samis's killer, he would have confessed immediately. On the other hand, maybe that's why he's so wound up. Then there's the president himself, who went as far as a bribe to keep Sami from releasing the deep fake video. And according to Eleonora, Sami couldn't escape his business connections with the Macaron family. Every one of our suspects has a strong motive for chopping Samis's head off. But I can feel this case is coming to a head. Let's take another look around the scene of the crime. Yeah, what a thing happened. Alright, let's look around the museum again to find the last two clues. We still haven't found a murder weapon, just a sword sheet. Audio guide. Well, the killer did pretend to be a tourist by having the selfie stick, so why not have this guide as well? Yeah, there's blood on this audio guide device. You know what they say, where there's blood, there's clues. Let's collect a sample. That's right. And you got a good feeling about that umbrella stand. Your ring sticks have paid off in the past. Let's dig through it. Our investigation of Samus's murder here in the lowest culture room is taking shape. We almost got our killer. Okay. Alright, let's collect some of the blood from this device. Wow, from first. Oh, and there's some hair on the in the blood. Perfect. Now let's get that blood sample you took from the audio guide to the lab for examination. That's right. Eighteen hours. Now the umbrella stand. Oh, here's the murder weapon. Katria, that's not an umbrella, that's a sword, and it's got blood on it. 
I don't want to speak too soon, but I think you just found out about a weapon. Let's get the answer to make sure. It is the murder weapon. What's with this blood and the hair on it? Katarina, I did my best I could to keep my mind or examine the sample you brought in. But it's hard to keep my mind off our wedding. I know, Sherry. Same here. If it kills somebody, you call me Sherry. I should have Katarina arrest you for murder. Well, tell us about the sample quick before Katria puts the cuffs on me. Firstly, the blood was a match for your victim, but the hair I found in it was not. The hair is brown, unlike Malusa's, which means it must have come from your killer. Katria, we know our killer has brown hair. That's right. Alright, now the sword is the murder weapon. Katrina, I knew your wedding gift to carry and me would be out of the ordinary. But we weren't expecting a murder weapon. So this is the sword used to chop off Sammy Malusa's head. And that's not all. Your killer apparently got a bit cussed off on the occasion. I found lipstick marks on the hilt. Oh. Sammy didn't wear lipstick, so the lipstick is your killer, says. Well, Katrina, when we arrest Samus's killer, they better not give us any lip. What? I also hate when- I hate when people kiss me when they have lipstick on their mouth. It's always grandma. Katrina, in our investigation of Sammy Malusa's decapitation, one suspect stands head and shoulders above the rest. Let's go arrest the killer. And our last ever killer in criminal case. kill him and is there something more to you than you tell us because I think you're just like your dad Eleonora Baccaron I'm glad you and Cody broke up because I had no idea you turned out to be a murderer what are you talking about you seriously think I cut off Sammy Malusa's head yes we do it's funny we thought you were cleverer than your father it wasn't just because he wanted to cut ties with the pigeons and rats Yet here you are, having murdered someone for something so petty as a minor business dispute. And to top it all off, getting caught. You think I'm the fool here? I've never stopped being loyal to my father. I've been playing you all this whole time. Oh? You mean everything you told us about his approval of what he stood for was a lie? How could you do that to my brother? He was in love with you. He was just a plaything. I have got rid of him long ago if it wasn't for his insider ties to the police. As I told you once before, Katrina, family is family. You couldn't even begin to wrap your head around our master plan to take over France. Oh, is that what it's all about? Wait a minute, does this have something to do with Malus's plan to release a deep fake video of the French president? Ha! Savi could never have conceived of such a brilliant she. This was all my idea. What? What have you got against President Rockford? Nothing except we wanted him out of the way so my father could, be, could become president. Oh my god. I knew the technology existed to create false evidence defaming the president. He just needed someone with access to such technology. That's where Sami came in. I persuaded my dad to cut the deal with Malou. He invests heavily in lover in exchange for a deep fake to bring down the president. But then your dad was killed and Sami had nothing to do with this. So why would you decapitate him? Because Sami got a big head, he decided that since he pawed away to defame the president, 
Sai was going to become president himself. There's no way I was going to let him take advantage of my genius idea. If my father could become president, Sami certainly wouldn't. So he follows Sami into the law and cut off his head. Sami was scared because he knew that the pigeons and rats were following him. So he spent time in museums and places where there were lots of people. But we macros are scared to send a message loud and clear. And to show just how much I am and Tere Macaros' daughter, I took that ceremonial sword and gave Sabi a political execution worthy of a president. Well, Eleonora, it certainly seems like you followed in your late master father's footsteps. And just like your dad did, you'll be going to prison. You're under arrest. Well, there you go. Seems like Apple doesn't fall far from tree. Eleanor Macaron, you're charged with the murder by beheading Osami Malou. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. I killed Osami Malou to keep him from stepping into position as President of France. You could say it was a heroic gesture. Please. Heroic? Chop his house's head off because the hair of a French crime syndicate didn't get to bring President instead? I can't say I follow your logic, but I suppose that's part of the course, given my position. Eleanor Macron for the murder of Sai Malou, as well as conspiracy to defame a city president of the French Republic. This course sends you to life in prison. You deserve it. I did what I had to do to defend my family and my father's honor. Stop it, goddammit. Katarina. What the actual heck? I can't believe Eleonora has been double-crossing us this whole time. How am I going to break the news to Cody? He's going to be even more heartbroken. Our actions beg her belief. The background family has always been bad news, but who knew their ambitious stretch to making Antonin Macaron president? But when Macaron died, Simon Malou decided he'd use the opportunity to run for president himself. So Nora killed Malou to stop him taking advantage of her cunning master plan. Textbook crime family mentality. I saw a leader, Nora and Cody didn't wind up getting married. Yeah, good. No, but speaking of marriage, Carrie, you and Enzo have your own wedding to prepare for. Katarina, we're going to need your help with the final preparations. I'll let hop. Yeah. Alright, we can stop here. We can continue playing if you always have Paris, number four. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! <laughs>